Good evening and welcome to the U32 graduation of 2018. At this time, I would like to welcome Dory Elizabeth Belitzos to sing the national anthem. This time, I would like to welcome Mr. Bill Kimball, the superintendent of Washington County Supervisor Union. Thank you, Stephen. Good evening, all, on this beautiful night. I would like to welcome our U32 education communities, mothers, fathers, families, friends, U32 staff, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2018 to the 47th commencement ceremony of Union 32. I would like to ask everyone here who came to recognize and support a graduate to stop for a minute at some point during tonight's ceremony and reflect on a memory that stands out for you of either support, supporting or celebrating the small successes your graduate had along their journey to where they stand tonight. We are here to celebrate the 13 years of your educational life. It started when you first walked into kindergarten, and now here you are today on your way to new journeys and experiences. During that time, you've learned a lot, had great times with your friends, and now you're ready to go. Washington Central Supervisor Union exists to nurture and inspire in all students the passion, creativity, and power to contribute to their local and global communities. I will always remember this class for two reasons. One, six years ago we both came to U32. And second, more importantly, 
You have demonstrated this past year to the faculty and to myself what it looks and sounds like to meet this mission statement that I just stated. Your active leadership to make your voice heard in a respectful manner has shown me that you know how to contribute to your local and global community. Tonight starts a new part of your life. So as you go out on your own adventures, have fun. Go exploring, try new things, and remember the great times, the good friends, and all the knowledge you've gained here while you've been at U32. Welcome again. And to the graduates, have a great future. But do not forget your time here in Washington Central. I believe from this point onward, your life will change in one and very important way. You have had a lot of people making decisions for you up to this point. But now, it's up to you. Right. Good evening and congratulations to the U32 class of 2018. For those of you who don't know, I'm Stephen Dellinger Pate, U32's principal, and I want to welcome parents, grandparents, siblings, family, friends, and everyone else who has joined us on this beautiful evening. I want to especially thank our guest speaker tonight, Kathy Toppy, current science teacher in addition to many other roles here at U32. We've reached the culmination of your education from Washington Central, and we are prepared to send you off to contribute to both your local and global community, as you heard from our superintendent. This ceremony is the major event that marks your passage from youth to adulthood. The class that sits before you has shown to our community that they are ready to engage with the world outside of central Vermont. I want, I want to, to encourage, encourage each of our graduates, graduates to give back to the community that has supported you throughout your education. This, this community has attended your plays, your concerts, your sporting, your sporting events, events, and served as your mentors, mentors and advisors. This, this community puts, puts its hopes and dreams in your hands, hands and they, they expect, expect you to rise to the occasion. occasion. Many, Many of you are already giving back to the community that supported you all these years. I would I like, like to recognize the seniors that participated in the Senior Community Outreach Project this week. Would you please stand? These students went out into the community on Monday to help others, a testament to the spirit of giving that exists at U32. And I want to point to one student in particular, Cole Milady who is the only student who showed up in his group, and despite the urge to just blow off this service, he went with his chaperone, and the two of them completed the job that was slated for a full team. Good job, Cole. You can sit back down. As a member of this community as well, I hope to see each and every one of you become a strong, vital part of our towns, no matter where you travel for school or pleasure. Please remember your home in Central Vermont. I also want to take a moment and recognize the faculty and staff of U32 who give tirelessly and joyfully to educate these students. Come on. In tonight's program, we will celebrate our achievements by hearing from students themselves. We will have two student speakers, Zach Schneider and Katie Phillips. And now, our first student speaker, Zachary Peter Schneider. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, everyone. everyone. Today, Today is a big, big day, day for all of us, for the for students, students, the parents, parents the teachers, teachers, and more. It has been a long journey here at U32, and now finally, we begin a new one, the journey of life. First off, it is a pleasure to be speaking in front of all of you. I'd like to start by thanking my, my parents. I'd like to start by saying thank you to all of those who have been a part of my life. Thank you to all of my family, my friends, and above all, my amazing God. Without them, I wouldn't be who I am today. This evening, I'd like to talk a little bit about purpose. 
From the time I was a little boy, I had always thought that I wanted to be a professional athlete of some sort. I would always tell mom, dad, and my friends, I'm going to be a pro with whatever it was I wanted to do. Whether it be skateboarding, snowboarding, BMX biking, or football. I wanted everything that all the celebrities had, those such as Sean White, Channing Tatum, or even Justin Bieber, with many possessions. They lived the life that I admired. But as I grew into the person I am now, I realized that it's never about having things. I've learned that there's more to life. Life is not about your possessions, status, or your swag. Life is about living with a purpose. And as I look back on my time here at U32, I can for sure say that I've had very little idea of what I was going to do with my life, nor did I know where I wanted to go. I mean, I had aspirations and dreams of doing things, but nothing that I set my mind to. As this time progressed, I slowly came to understand why I was living. I found that with strengthening and living by my faith, I found purpose in life. Growing up, becoming a more mature, responsible young man, and just making sense of everything happening around me has influenced me to find my place in this world. That isn't to say it's easy or will come with the snap of a finger, but we are all here, right now, alive and well. So we need to live with this in mind. As youth leader Chili Chilton once said, if you have a pulse, you have a purpose. Four years ago, this class and myself all walked through the doors of youth high school as freshmen, not really knowing what to expect. Maybe it would be something like in the movies, with the jocks, the geeks, and the popular kids. Fortunately, it wasn't. There was much more life and expression roaming through those halls. So many different people and opportunities for us to gain something from. This was a place where we didn't have to be like the movies. It was a place where we could change and just be us. From dreadful homework days to after school curly runs, from late night practices, to championship games, and attend foosball competitions, to senior pranks. From each little friend group to the entire class as a whole. Now as seniors, ready to graduate, it is the memories we've created with one another that will be remembered forever. With that being said, I pray that my peers find their passions and purpose in life. May they strive to live for them each and every day. That each and every one of you walks out of here feeling proud of all that you've accomplished these last four years. And what I want for the class of 2018 and the rest of you to take away from this speech is that life has meaning. Some days are going to be harder than others. Trust me, a lot harder. And some days will bring more joy than you could have ever imagined. Make this life a life worth living. Oh, and remember this one thing. It's never a goodbye, but always a see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. At this time, I would like to call Caitlin Phillips to the mic. Welcome. Lotus Lake Days are a rite of passage for every seventh grader at U32. Two days spent outside in freezing weather, playing team building games and learning survival skills. Bundled up in snowsuits, the class of 2018 grumbled their way out of the school. Within 10 minutes, we were wet and cold. It did not go uphill from there. One TA wrapped a student in tarp, practicing a technique to prevent hypothermia. They then lifted this cocoon student up to transport them and promptly dropped them on the frozen ground. Another TA could not find their campsite and instead wandered through the woods before picking a random clearing in which to start their fire. A third TA decided to roast clementines on sticks, which went about as well as you'd expect. I bring up these stories not to force you to relive these traumatic days, but to show the fortitude of the class sitting before you. 
Everything went wrong that could go wrong, but we still enjoyed ourselves. When asked, current seniors remembered coming up with hilarious TA chants, building unique snow forts, or actually enjoying those roasted clementines. Every student focused on the good. This perseverance has followed us through our time at U32. Every student sitting here has faced frustration, stress, and loss. The road has not been smooth. But every student here has fought for something, has followed a passion, has supported a friend. I have very little wisdom to offer for our lives after U32, but I know one thing. I can't imagine any of us failing. We are determined, and at the end of six challenging years, we will remember the good. The countless memories and laughs shared with friends, the excitement of new learning, the triumphs of athletic victories, and, of course, the best senior prank U32 has ever seen. At the time of Lotus Lake days, teachers and peers may have described the class of 2018 as rowdy, fun, intelligent, or self-conscious. This year, when I asked people to describe our grade, the vast majority of them said one word, diverse. From cross-country running championships, to foosball tournaments, to simply surviving a push, our class's accomplishments are not easy, easily categorized. Our interests range as wide as the human imagination, and these passions have blossomed at U32. The graduates in this audience have transformed into individuals. With their incredibly strong spirits, they have accomplished the following things. Calvin Micah Smith started his own clothing company, creating a brand that is now famous at U32. Molly McCready broke the Vermont State shot put record by over two feet and will follow fellow seniors Stephen Luck and Nathan Smoller in competing at the National Track and Field competition this weekend. Kyle DeRosia started working on a mushroom farm, learning how to grow and distribute the mushrooms for use as medicine and food. Zach Klein recorded two albums of original music and arranged several pieces for the U32 chorus and band. Cole Maliti trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, earning a blue belt and competing in six tournaments. Wyatt Mash Curry and Ruby Lamb participated in Knowles and Outward Bound, respectively, each spending days in the wilderness facing daunting challenges. These examples just scratch the surface of what the students sitting before you have made happen. I have been, and always will be, inspired by their accomplishments and curiosity. But we didn't do all these things alone. Every person here has had a hand in our success. So now, as you sit there looking at us, and we sit here staring back at you, there are a lot of emotions swirling between us. We are excited and scared, nervously anticipating futures that are not yet in our grasp, but are close enough to taste. We are relieved to have made it this far, but sad to leave our friends and everything we have known up until this point. We are afraid to leave you. You who have baked cupcakes for our class parties, who have come to every concert and cheered at every sporting event, you who have pushed us to our limits and caught us when we have fallen. This celebration is as much about you, our families, our friends, and our teachers, as it is about us. You have raised an incredible group of young adults, and we may be terrified to leave, but thanks to you, we are so ready. So, class of 2018, it's now up to us. Stay strong, stay fun, stay curious and diverse, and don't forget this community that has built the foundation from which everything else will grow. At this time, I would like to welcome Emily Crimmins to introduce our guest speaker tonight. everyone. I am honored to introduce this year's keynote speaker. She is a beloved teacher who for the past 44 years has given countless hours to helping students before school and after school. She has coached cross-country, Nordic skiing, 
in track and field for both the middle school teams as well as the high school teams. Her passion for teaching her students and her coaching is immeasurable. She is a very well loved, uh, she is very well loved by all of us and we could not be more proud to have her speaking tonight. Please help me welcome Kathy Topping. You're probably wondering why I asked you all to come here tonight. Oh yeah, you're graduating. When Emily came to ask me to give this speech, my first reaction was shock. What did she say? Then disbelief. This has to be a joke. Followed by fear. I can't do this. And finally, humility. Thank you so much for the privilege of speaking to you. In 1968, I sat exactly where you are sitting. Well, not exactly. It was 55.6 miles east of here in Littleton, New Hampshire. I know it's hard for some of you to believe, but I did graduate from high school. When I thought about my future, I was only thinking about a few years down the road. I never imagined that I would be standing up here giving a speech to a group of graduating seniors that I love and the community that I've been part of for the past 45 years. I know one thing, though, never again. I have absolutely no memory of my commencement speaker. I cannot remember if it was a man or a woman. I haven't the faintest idea what his or her message was. And my memory is legendary. Ask my students. I'm pretty sure that I was only thinking about one thing during that speech. Won't this person please stop talking so I can get my diploma and get out of here? It is possible that one or two of you are thinking the same thing right now. I have spent many sleepless nights worrying about what I should say to you. I asked my TAs for advice. Ruby said I should say something from my heart and make her cry. Kayla said, don't make the speech sappy. Parker said that he would be happy with anything that I wanted to say. Thank you, Parker, for taking the pressure off. I asked lots of other people for advice. Mark Chaplin, who is well known for his memorable speeches at every sports dessert for the last 40 years, told me to keep it short. It only took him 20 minutes to explain this concept to me. NPR suggested there are four rules you must follow when making a graduation speech. The first rule is to be funny. God knows I'm trying. The second rule is to make fun of yourself. Okay, but it is easier and more satisfying to make fun of Mark. I didn't understand the third rule. Don't ask me about the third rule. So I skip to the last and most important rule. You must have a message. So here goes, now for the message. Seniors, in case you've been dozing, listen, this is the message. Go rock climbing. Now, if you did not understand that, this is a metaphor. Really, honestly, I crunch numbers for a reason. I'm not exactly sure I know what a metaphor is, but I think this is one. Go rock climbing. Let me explain. When I graduated from high school, I went off to college expecting to become a scientist and get a job where I could wear a lab coat with a pocket protector. I graduated in 1972 and sadly couldn't find a job without more education. So my father's best friend offered me a job, 
Working in an insurance company, learning to program computers, I lasted three months. Then I got the lab job. It was really rewarding work, but I felt isolated. Until that moment, I had no idea how important it was to me to interact with other people. I didn't know what to do next, but I knew I needed to change direction. I was walking down the hall outside the lab when I saw a poster advertising a program for a master's in education. The first week of the program would be spent, you guessed it, rock climbing. Rock climbing sounded fun. It was just what I wanted to do, rock climbing. I did not think that that meant that a week later I had to learn to be a teacher. I just wanted to go rock climbing. The week was great. I made new friends, including Mark Chaplin, who was also rock climbing. Then I started the education program and was sent to U32 to do my student teaching. My first supervisor was a biology teacher who had some very strange ideas about teaching biology with audio tapes. I was ready to quit again. It was time for more rock climbing. I mentioned I was planning to try something else when I met the woman who changed my life. Her name is Rachel McAnellen, and I'm sure there are people in the audience today who remember her. She asked me, can you do math? I said, yeah. She convinced me to switch from science to math and continue my internship. Rachel taught me what it means to teach. I would not be here today if it were not for her. I hope I have lived up to her standards. I taught math at U32 for 30 years and was feeling like I needed another change of direction when Mark Chaplin asked me if I would consider teaching chemistry. I found myself rock climbing again as I followed Mark's lead in my route back to science. I rediscovered my passion even as I have found myself answering the same two questions. What will happen if I eat this? Can we blow something up? You are about to invent yourselves, to transition from high school student to community member. What will you be doing in five years? Where do you want to live? What job do you want to have? Do you have it all planned out? Don't be afraid to go rock climbing. You can easily fail at a job you don't like, so you may as well take a chance on something else. You never know who might become your anchor or what route you may follow. Take a chance that you will find something you love. I have been so lucky that my week of rock climbing led me to U32 and a job I treasure. Thank you for the opportunity to spend my days with you. Thank you for helping me when I struggled to link the projector to my computer. Thank you for saying hello as we pass in the hallway. Thank you for trying to teach me what tweeting is. Thank you for entertaining me with your sports, your music, and your art. Thank you for sharing your ideas with me. Thank you for not giving up when I encouraged you to try to pass a chemistry quiz for the fifth time. Thank you for putting your cell phone away, even if I did have to threaten you with the wrath of Kath. Thank you for making me laugh. In 50 years, you probably won't remember this speech. You won't remember who gave the commencement address, but in that time, I hope you have done plenty of rock climbing and that each change of direction led you to a new adventure. Thank you. It's a hard act to follow.
At this time, I would now like to take a moment and honor a few students who could not join us for this ceremony tonight. Two of our students finished their studies early and enlisted in the armed services. Isaac Kingwood is the first I would like to recognize. He has already... Yeah. He has already completed basic training in the Marine Corps where he got his honor grad for his platoon. He was guide, squad leader, and Ironman. Our second is Hunter Winters, who completed graduation requirements for U32 in January and left for Marines basic training in Paris Island, South Carolina the day after Easter. He is scheduled to graduate and become a Marine on June 29th, the day after he turns 18. Hunter dreamt of a future in the military since he was a young child. He has showed incredible determination and has set out to make his dreams come true. He looks forward to serving the country he has incredible pride in. You will also hear two other graduates that are called on during the ceremony. They've been mentioned already, Stephen Look and Nathan Smoller, who have been competing in nationals for track and field and are traveling to join us right now. And if they can make it before we finish, we're gonna run them across the stage. Right. So we've assured that if they get here, we will make this happen, but you will hear their name called during the ceremony itself. All right. At this time, I would like to call Adrian Megida, our school board president, to the uh, lectern to give the Gahagan Award. The Gahagan Award was created in 2000 in honor of Jackie Gahagan who was, who was a teacher, a teacher and associate, associate principal, principal of U32 from 1971, 1971 when the when doors, doors first opened, opened until 2000. 2000. Jackie, Jackie believed that this school called on its students to be, be caring, involved, involved people, people willing, willing to contribute to the, to the betterment of the school by supporting and reaching out to others, others while, while developing their, their own personal, personal sense of self. self. The Gahagan Award is presented each year to that graduating senior who best exemplifies the true spirit and soul of U32. Each year, the actual Gahagan Award, a gift to the recipient, varies. Intended to be a very special gift that also recognizes the extraordinary talent of a U32 student. The award itself is a piece created by a U32 student artist or woodworker. This year's winning honor artist, Connor Cooley, has been known to U32 since seventh grade for his addiction to drawing. Whether it was drawing on his TA's whiteboard in the mornings or a $5 bill, Rivas printing paper like this one, the young artist always put his best work forward. Connor's determination and creativity in the arts has never been ignored as he was the recipient of the Weird Genius Award in 2017 and Most Articulate Artist Award in 2018. He also attended Governor's Institute for the Arts during the summer of 2017 and has submitted work to the Congressional Show for the last two years. Connor spent his senior year as a member of the pilot program where he studied art and English. Connor has learned a lot from his career at U32, but he has taught us along the way as well. From him, we learned that art is never really finished. There is always something to add. That, that kindness, kindness always, always wins. wins. That, that drawing, drawing just, just takes practice. practice. That, that learning can be fun. fun. That, that even when kids, kids can't stop moving, moving it, it doesn't, doesn't mean they aren't listening. listening. That, that teenagers, teenagers actually do like their parents, parents. 
and that and the, the bare, bare minimum, minimum is never enough. enough. While well, Connor, Connor is not, not able, able to attend, attend graduation, graduation this year due, due to his, his older, older brother's, brother's wedding, he, he is pleased, pleased to honor one, one of his classmates with this gift. gift. Connor, Connor will be, be taking, taking a gap year, year this year, year most, most likely spending his time creating art. art. We, we are, are excited, excited to bestow a Connor, Connor Cooley original, original and one of the most coveted pieces to the recipient of the 2018 Gahagan Award. And, and the, the piece of artwork, artwork is, is right at the corner of the stage, stage here. here. It is our pleasure and honor to award the 2018 Gahagan Award to Zach Gabriel Klein. Zach, come on up. So you're gonna stand here while I do this, okay? okay. okay. Zach embodies the qualities Jackie Gahagan prized most in a U32 student. He is an energetic, fully involved individual who has found his own voice at U32 and then helped many others find theirs as well. He is accomplished in the classroom, on stage, and in all other his co-curricular activities. He has forged his own path through U32 as a student in our pilot program. Many of you have seen Zach as a stage actor. He is a regular cast member of Stage 32 and other local theater productions. His musical talents have been on display in chorus, camerata, variety shows, and virtually any stage or mic that is available. What you might not know about Zach is his devotion to social issues. Zach helped start our student group, Seeking Social Justice, and he is a strong voice in the U32 community for equality, acceptance, and inclusion. He strives constantly to make U32 a safe and welcoming community. Zach Klein is one of this year's most outstanding students at U32. He is a leader, and during his time here, U32 has become a better place because of him. Zach's presence at U32 has brought joy to those who come into contact with him every day. Zach has shown that he is an intelligent, loyal, compassionate, and caring young man. And as this year's recipient of the Gahagan Award, he, he truly, truly exemplifies, exemplifies the spirit and soul of U32. Congratulations, Congratulations Zach. Congratulations, Zach. You're welcome. I want to see it. Right, it's the part that we're waiting for. So at this time, I would like to invite Scott Thompson, school board member, and Bill Kimball, superintendent, to the stage, along with Sue Ann Mayette, teacher advisor, and Carrie Wilson, teacher advisor. Yep, you're at the far end. All right, this year, Cooper Lamb, the Vice President of Student Council, will read the names of the students receiving their diplomas, so we will award Cooper's diploma first. James Cooper Lamb. And joining Cooper is his mother, Rosemary Leach, a Romney paraeducator.
Maybe. Yeah. I'd like to welcome teacher advisor Brian Alby to the stage. Is he up there? There he is. Trevor Andrew Aber. Zachary David Baldassaro. Dana Ray Brown. Harrison Onward Clark Bushnell. Kyle Nelson Chase. Elizabeth Jean Emery. Joshua Sage Farber. Riley, Riley Ann Fly. fly. Right. Hayden, Hayden Victor, Victor Garbacic. Robin, Robin Jeffrey, Jeffrey Hartzell. Hartzell. Yeah. Shannon, Shannon Emily O'Kelly. Nicole Maggie Sucker. Rebecca Thompson, and joining Rebecca is her father, Scott Thompson, school board member. I'd like, like to, to welcome, welcome teacher, teacher advisor, advisor Sandy Shalou to, to the stage. stage. Alexander Matthew Henry Bell. Justin Pease Bennett. Cameron Cahill. Connor James Carbo. Sydney Alexandra Dewey. Wesley Dewey. Jenna Lee Jerome. Wilson Homer Knight. Caitlin C. O'Neill. Nathaniel Benjamin Palmer. Liam Patrick Robert. Please welcome school board member Carl Whitkey to the stage. I'd like, I'd like to, to welcome, welcome teacher, teacher advisor, advisor Mark Chaplin to the stage. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> Arthur, Arthur S. Anderson. Anderson. 
Mackenzie Ashton Brown. Dustin Michael Clark. Samuel Glenn Darmstadt. Andrew J. Davin. Trevor Dawson Day. Jaden Alexis Hudson. Cricket Osborne Lieberman, and joining Cricket is her mother, Karen Lieberman, branching out coordinator. Carly Florence Robertson. Chandler Lawrence Stevens. Anna Louise Van Ness, and joining Anna is her stepfather, Carl Whitkey, school board member. Ian Jeffrey Boyer. I'd like to welcome teacher advisor, Christine Chartrand, to the stage. Fiona Ann Astle. Grace A. Childs. Marshall Thomas Collier. Emily Kremens. Dakota David Dunham. Zach Gabriel Klein. Sean Michael Levine. Kanan Middleton. Please welcome school board member Carly Bradley to the stage. I'd like to welcome teacher advisor Krista D to the stage. Gabriella Fay Calderon. Eliza Morgan Chamberlain Heibel. Blaine Alon Culver. Ronan Jared Martell. Caitlin Elizabeth Phillips. Logan P. Powers. Bethany L. Russ. Zachary Peter Schneider. I'd like to welcome teacher advisor Bonnie Godopi to the stage. Tegan J. Collier. Tian Connor. Avery Eric. 
Jacob K. Joslin. Zachary Warner Legue. Gavin Wyatt Lang. Luca Joseph Montour. Emma Louise Olmstead. Silas Rollins Green. Robert Taylor. Mary Elizabeth Tebow. Grace Elizabeth Wilcox. Logan Tucker Wolf. Please welcome school board member Carl Whitkey to the stage. I'd like to welcome teacher advisor Zachary Gonzalez to the stage. Kayla Ann Beard. Grace Eklund Gustafson. Stella Rose Gardner. Gabriel Nicholas Haugi. Mary Jo King. Anne Marie Elizabeth Matanyo. Ford William Porter. Cody Olin Potlin. <laughs> Noah Whitkey Mealy, and joining Noah is his father, Carl Whitkey, school board member. Please welcome school board member Jonathan Goddard to the stage. I'd like to welcome teacher advisors Ben Heinz and Linda Cueto to the stage. Anna Lauren Braun. Austin Thomas Brissett. Gavin William Dice. Kyle Sean DeRosia. Alexandria Hepp. Javid Wyatt Mash Curry. Molly Alexandra McCready. Brandon Keith Moulton. Emmy Rose Overton. Anna Beth Richardson. Hayden Matthew Roberge. Nathan Smoller. I'd like to welcome teacher advisors, Sue Ann Maya and Carrie Wilson to the stage. 
Dory Elizabeth Bolitzos. Dalen Bailey Clark. Samantha Louise Fielder. Scott Robert Gallison. Samantha L. Perry. Cameron James Powers. Forrest Kingsbury Spencer. Please welcome school board member Adrian Megida to the stage. I'd like to welcome teacher advisor Kate McCann to the stage. Celine Ann Byron. Cassidy Page Colburn. Christina Mara Fleury. Kobe Jamison Gillender. Brooke Elizabeth Houghton. Simon Flynn Kennedy. Simon. Rebecca Lynn Lockwood. Jordan V. McDougall. Cole Malidi. Calvin Micah Smith. Alexandra M. Riley. I'd like to welcome teacher advisor Nicole Schaefer to the stage. Emmeline Rose Bell. I'd like to welcome teacher advisor Kathy Topping to the stage. Luke Bolitzos. Jasmine Luana Burke. Bailey Elizabeth Howarth. Ruby Susan Lamb. Stephen A. Look. Nathaniel Morris. Parker Morse. Ethan Charles Sharp. Hunter Tenzing Sloan Solomon. Carly Elizabeth Webb. Woo! 
Kayla Marie Woodman. Nathan Smaller. All right. Congratulations, graduates. Would you please rise? Move your tassel. Congratulations, I present to you the U32 graduates of 2018.